up, YouTube? It's Michael here. Uh, today I'm gonna make a, a request I get all the time. So this, what's in my doc? Uh, I made that one already a while ago, and every time I tell people, I do not change my doc so often. But this today I'm gonna do it because everybody is asking me to do it. So I guess I'll just have to. Uh, so I'm just gonna do one doc here because on my previous I had three docs. So um, but. It's already the third time I'm doing this video, and every time it's way too long, so I'm trying to uh, like keep it short. So, Finder, um, everybody knows the Finder. Adobe After Effects, part of CS4. Uh, it's uh, make special effects video editing uh, software. Photoshop um, edits all your pictures. You can make so much things, design 3D stuff, uh, edit your pictures, clone stuff. Adobe Illustrator, I use that to make my icon uh, logos, so that's pretty cool. Adobe Illustrator, uh, you can do some texture design and all that stuff. So Adobe Photoshop Elements is the simple version of Adobe Photoshop. It's also a little less, uh, it's a little cheaper, and you. So if you don't have enough money for this, you can just go and get this. But it also has a little less options than, than. Um, Photoshop and but and it's also a little simpler. So then we got the browsers. So uh, Safari is the one you get standard with Mac. OmniWeb is the one I need when I want to go fast and quick and just search something up. It's pretty cool. And Firefox, the one I use all the time. So if you want also another uh, browser which is really fast is Google Chrome. So that one starts up pretty fast. But I always will be a Firefox user because. I can just you cannot just change the browser so easily because you already learned to do something so uh, that's why so that's for Firefox uh, then we got screen fill the one I use all the time to make about all my videos so um, that's for the screen recording videos and also my editor when you you finished recording you can also edit them with the same thing life type is to make intros pretty simple self-explaining well not self-explaining but uh, you can make some intros but not very professional but still pretty cool Final Cut Express uh, video editor but not screen recording so just heavy duty well heavy duty <laughs> that's so fun well anyway <laughs> uh, it's just a, a video editor which is pretty professional so uh, there's also Final Cut Pro if you want even more pro professional uh, Motion 3 is uh, as well as Adobe After Effects but I like this one I made my previous intro with this uh, my new intro you just saw at the beginning of this video, I made it with After Effects. Um, so Motion 3, you get 3D particles, it's pretty cool with it. Uh, you should check it out. So Kinemac is a 3D modeling animation animator. Uh, so I don't know if you guys know the app called Moto 402 or something, 403. Well anyway, that app, this app looks a bit like that one, but except this one is like really simple compared to that one. So um Pro Motion Advance is also an intro maker but it's not really you cannot start from scratch, you can only start from like templates. Uh iMovie is when I wanna edit a movie quick up. Like I just use this one because it's like simple and not not really difficult. I mean everybody can use this one just it's pretty simple. So Cam Twist is uh for uh cam eyesight effects or cam camera effects webcam uh, you can also use it for you streams or uh, streamings on the internet like live then we got QuickTime player for all my media video media to play it so this icon is not the, the icon standard icon but this is the icon of snow leopard which is uh, coming out in uh, September right so uh, that's the new icon of QuickTime player so uh, you can also just download this one it's pretty cool I like it so that's the new icon for QuickTime. Spotify is not really self-explaining, so that's why I'm gonna open it up for all of you. So you can just watch any, um, listen to any music. You just can search for any music. For example, this is a top list. So you can just, for example, Poker Face, uh, Not Fair, all that stuff. I'm not gonna play any music right now because you get that stupid copyrighted stuff from YouTube. But anyway, that's for Spotify. You can just listen to any music. Tweety is my Twitter client, which I like a lot. Um, I also like Twitterific because it made a noise every time you got a tweet. But Tweety is just a little bit, bit of, just a little bit better. So here you get all your tweets, your at replies, your personal messages, and your spotlight. 
I don't know why for me, but the personal messages don't. I don't receive them in Tweety. I've got to go to Twitter.com. But anyway, it's pretty cool. So that's for my Twitter client. So that's Tweety. Uh, Matt Speech is Tate. It's pretty cool. When you start it up, as first you first gotta read a text. It's gonna recognize your voice, and then you can talk to your Mac, and it's gonna write it down for you in a text edit document, for example. So it's really really cool. You can also like. Give them commands like go to Firefox, uh, go to YouTube.com, all that stuff. It's pretty cool. So I'll make an app review on this one very soon. So stay tuned. Uh, Skype is just my video slash voice. Um, yeah, video slash voice conferencing application. So it's just for uh, chatting and voice chatting. So I do that really often so obviously you can find my Skype in the description to the right if you want to add me virus barrier even if you don't have a, a lot of viruses for Mac you can always use this one if it's a very suspicious file so which is pretty cool about this one it starts up really fast I'm just gonna quit it for you and start it up watch like boom and it starts up it's pretty quick so um, I like that and you can just drag and drop no virus detected. to the actual app or you can just drag and drop to the icon itself no virus detected. or drag and drop to here oh that's not possible apparently I thought it was well anyway you can just drag and drop the file to your dock and it's gonna automatically scan it it's pretty cool no virus detected. and you also got that cool voice and the interfix interface looks very nice so that's for virus barrier Crossover games. This is for playing, lin uh, well, Windows games on Mac or Linux. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually only use it for World of Warcraft because I know that World of Warcraft is also available for Mac, but I had some problems with the patches and all that stuff. So that's why I use crossover games for playing World of Warcraft. So yeah. Uh, then I've got the stacks here, which is basically, well, on my apps here I got about two hundred forty something my games uh, I'll make a video about my games soon so stay tuned for that too oh yeah by the way uh, I made a video previously on YouTube uh, so I was I said I was going to be away for holidays for six weeks which is totally true so I won't be able to post all those videos but maybe my sister is going to post them for me uh, in the holidays so that's very nice or so uh, maybe you'll see some of my videos uh, in the summer break. So yeah, that's for my stacks games here. Uh, Adobe CS4. Well, I basically only use these. Oops, sorry about that. Only use these three of Adobe. But it's pretty cool. Uh, here we got my documents and my downloads. I just emptied five minutes ago. So that's why there are already five stuff, <laughs> five things in it. But anyway, uh, and then my browser here. So that's YouTube, obviously. So uh, that's it for what's in my doc. I hope y'all liked it, cause I hope it's not too long either, cause I had a lot of requests. But anyway, so thanks for watching. Please comment, rate five stars if you liked it, of course. Even if you hate it, rate it as well, and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace. I think it doesn't work.